So I'm currently stood in the ensuite that used to be the back of the garage, and I'll show you a whole video on this very soon. But this week, I'm gonna take you back in time on how I learned how to fit double glazing. So firstly, let's get all of the apologies out of the way. I'm really sorry about the dreadful lighting. These videos are all filmed on a budget. Also, this was filmed last year, and I don't know why I haven't got the footage of my dad removing the glass pane. But from what I remember, he'd taken the wooden internal beading out and then removed it. So from here on, my dad's recommending to saw the wooden frame with a handsaw. But I didn't go right to the very bottom of the brickwork because I don't want to damage a perfectly good handsaw. Then I made another handsaw cut along the side, used a crowbar to pry it out, and then pulled the frame out. Oh. It's coming in It was quite tough this, so I did get a bit of help from my husband. But it was very pleasant, the smell of freshly cut wood. Just like how I remember at my dad's wood yard. So I've got clean cut to work with now, with the exposed bricks. And my dad is hand sawing the plastic windowsill, which you'll see from the outside. It'll be my turn later with the bigger one. And we're just checking to see if the window frame fits okay and it just needed some packers. Notice however at the top one of the bricks came loose so that would have to be repaired later. So then I put a bead of silicon along the inside of the lip and then another one on the opposite and then put a squiggle in the middle. Just ignore my wobbly arm. We found this gun was broken so I had to really work hard with it. Now I'm pulling the protective film off the actual window frame so it would be easier later. And then while the window is open, my dad's balancing it so I can screw through the bottom of the window frame to the windowsill section. And make sure the screw head isn't in the way so it closes fine. So those two pieces are now stuck together. I place the window frame where I wanted it. My dad is making sure it's even from the outside so it's not leaning forward or backwards and I'm wedging packers around the frame so it's completely even in that gap. And my dad is quickly fixing that brick and drill through the window frames and the brick. And then screwed it with some spack screws. He always uses these because you don't have to use roll plugs. And make sure the window definitely closes okay still. Uh, right, okay. We'll it just a bit too high, just a touch. Another tip that I learned was to drill your holes closer to the packers because if you're quite far away, the frame could actually warp, making it difficult to close. Now, another thing that I'm learning is how to remove the plastic internal frame beading, whatever you call it, with a flat filling knife, and I'd wedge it where it joins and hit it with a hammer to separate them. Once you've got the first one out, it's easier to do the rest. And then it was time to put the glass panel in. Now push it nice and tight in. It's a bit wobbly there though, isn't it? It won't be if you push it in. And then that pesky beading, which I think is going to take quite a lot of practice over time. Don't, don't be always. Just keep... And this is what it looked like in the morning. It hasn't been sealed yet, but I'll quickly show you a clip of when I did seal our front door. And I'm gonna leave you to debate on this whether you should use white or brown sealant because quite a few professionals recommended me brown and others said that was crazy. So I think it's personal preference. Anyway, I hope that was fairly useful and hopefully I'll see you very soon.